Turtle Matthews with another tip for you. Today we're going to talk about how to have pages in our Pixelmator Pro. So one of the issues that I love about other vector graphic programs and just programs in general is the idea that I can do multiple projects in one document. So to do that with Pixelmator Pro, you have to kind of go around or little work around. So I want to show you what I'm doing. So let's imagine I want to work on a social media post, a uh, square image for Instagram. And I want to create five pictures and put them all, upload them all at the same time. But I only want to work on one document right here. Okay. So what I can do is I can create different groups and turn those into pages. So in order to do that, we're just going to go here and say group. So I'm right clicking and pressing group here. So now we have our new group. So then we can just say duplicate. And if you have more than one, the duplicate keyboard shortcut is shift command D. So let's just go ahead and do that. So we have two right now. So three, four, five, because I'm making five pages. And so then we're going to say page one, page two, page three, page four, and page five. And of course, you can have as many pages as you want. Uh, not too long ago, I made a project that had 30 pages. And <clears throat> so we're going to open those all up so that we can put photos in here. So I have five photos that I'm going to work on. So let's go ahead and just add those. So to add the photos, make sure you put it where you want it to go. So we're going to put one there. Let's put this other one here under page two. So now we have all of our pages all set up. What we're going to do now is we're going to zoom out here because you can see our page, our photos are much bigger than an Instagram photo size. So we're going to go ahead and bring these down. So before we do that, we're going to click shift and make sure we hide everything here. Okay. So all this is hidden so we can work at one page at a time. So on page one, we're going to go ahead and press alt so that we can bring it all into the center. Then we're going to hide this and show page two. Oh, actually, let's do this this way. Let's show and make sure that we only hide our pages. OK, so here's page two. Do the same thing, Alt center here and we could also kind of refocus where everything's going to be so let's hide, show this one put this one down a bit that'll work so now we we hide page one and go to page three it looks like that one's tall let's bring that one this way a little bit and we can just keep going that way So now we can zoom in. We can take a look at all of our pictures. Here's one page, etc. Okay. So now that we have it all sort of set up there, these are not cropped. These are just, this is what the viewport is. So now we're going to select everything, save view. So now we have them all viewed and now we're going to export everything. So we're going to close all of our pages once we're done with them, close all of our pages. That way we are only selecting the page, not the, not everything that's inside the page. And as you can see, everything, there's some pictures that are kind of out, right? So we're going to fix that in a second. Now that we have all the pages selected, we're going to say add for export. Now that we have everything added for export, now this is where we're going to actually change what's selected to make sure that everything is square. Again, we're not cropping anything. All we're doing is selecting each one of these and making sure that 
we have a nice square image area okay so now that we have everything selected um, and we can see that it's a nice square area we can change them all by collect selecting everything and making sure that we're on JPEG and we can even change how big the JPEG picture is going to be but we want them at full size here and then uh, export so now we're going to pick Pixelmator pages export and once we export we can see that we have all the pages exported not as a zip file but as a complete picture and we can see that they're all square and they're all ready to be uploaded and of course this was a simplistic way to do it which you can also do is of course on each one of these pages <clears throat> excuse me on each one of these pages we can to, you know add you know some words or anything you could do whatever you want to each one so that's how you add separate pages in pixelmator pro thank you very much don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to share if you really like these tutorials have a beautiful day